Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to MVR. After what seemed like a long draught of VR gaming news, it looks like we finally have some exciting stories to share. Myst finally has a release date for PC VR, and some existing games like Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, as well as Pistol Whip, are getting some serious content updates. So in order to find out more, let's jump in. After what seemed like an eternity, the PC version for Myst just dropped a new trailer for both flat screen as well as PC VR modes, and along with it an actual release date of August 26th. Judging by the footage, it seems that this particular version of the game was well worth the wait, with vastly improved graphics compared to the native Quest version, which should please those of us who are blessed with the hardware to run it. While an exact price for the PC version of the game is unknown at this point, it will be available on all major game distribution platforms, so you can add it to your wish list of choice. If sleuthing around interdimensional portals isn't your thing and you would rather enjoy a good old shootout, then I've got some good news. Pistol Whip just received a major free update called Smoke and Thunder, bringing five new levels to the game tied together into a western-themed mini-campaign. And just like the good old gunslingers of yore, the focus here revolves around dual-wielding six-shot revolvers or some classic boomsticks for that extra oomph. While at first glance you might think that this is just more of the same with the skin tacked on, in reality the new weapons add a surprising level of depth. Because of the limited ammo capacity and the focus around dual wielding, there's a lot of strategic choices to make. Do you empty out one gun after the other, or do you alternate shots? While it might not make much of a difference for the standard foes you will encounter early on, the various types of obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the story will force you to think twice. So whether or not you already owned Pistol Whip, this free extra content will be sure to pad out your playtime and provide you with some extra John Wick style badassery. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is receiving another free update called Aftershocks. While the update was initially planned to arrive on all supported platforms on May 20th, Unanticipated technical issues caused it to be delayed to September 23rd. The free update is set to feature new missions, threats, and mysteries to uncover, which according to the studio will take somewhere between 4-6 to six hours to play through. Skydance also says that this expansion is just a taste of what's to come, so be on the lookout in the coming months for more news on the game. And if you really can't wait, then the developers suggest following the trail of breadcrumbs and revisiting some old locations for a new perspective on what might be coming next. Speaking of what's coming next, if you had your fill of sneaking around zombie hordes in the water-filled streets of New Orleans, then perhaps Everslot might be your cup of tea with a more intense solution to the problem. The game features high-paced first-person melee action with an emphasis on swift movement, much resembling the adrenaline thrill found in Doom VFR. Use traditional melee combat or grab a gun or two in order to plow your way through the endless hordes of zombies and other ancient evils. And if it looks like the action is getting a little too close for comfort, you can always rely on your trusty grappling hook to refine your footing. With stunning visual quality and endless replayability through the use of roguelike mechanics, it seems like Everslot will be able to provide countless hours of entertainment. Right now, Everslot is available in early access on Steam VR with a full release date planned for somewhere in 2022. Speaking of planned release dates, Lone Echo 2, Ready at Dawn's long-awaited sequel to the sci-fi adventure and Oculus PC exclusive, was supposed to finally make its grand entrance this month, but unfortunately it now appears the game will be delayed yet again. Here's what the developers had to say. To our Lone Echo community, it was heartwarming to see the outpouring of love and excitement last month when we announced the Lone Echo 2 launch day. Like many game studios over the past couple of years, our team has tackled new obstacles in development and has needed to be inventive and resourceful to reach this point. We've been working hard to deliver the very best experience possible and we're eager to have you join Liv and Jack in their adventures once again. However, as we get closer to launch day, it has become clear that we needed a bit more time to polish and reach our desired quality level. Level. As such, Lone Echo 2's launch date will be moved to later this year. The decision to delay the game is always a tough one, but we believe you all deserve to experience the very best we can deliver. We thank you for your patience and understanding, be safe, and see you around the rings of Saturn. Signed, the Ready at Dawn team. This is not the first time the game has been delayed since its original announced release date back in 2019, and many fear it might not be the last either. 
the game carries with it the heavy legacy of officially being the last Oculus-funded PC VR title, a move which also upset many Oculus Rift owners who felt that the company was too quick to abandon the PC VR platform after the initial success of the Oculus Quest. Since all that's left is to wait for a new release date to materialize, the original Lone Echo is still for sale on the Oculus storefront for only $10 and is still very much a game worth playing, even if you don't own an Oculus headset. So that's a pretty good sized chunk of gameplay to keep me busy for the foreseeable future. But what about you? Do you feel like there's specific content that VR is in dire need of? Let me know in the comments down below and who knows, maybe I can dig something up for you. That's all for now and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>